All right, so we have finished our activities. We have learned what we need to learn today. So let's go ahead and take a summary of that. So we have learned that there is a relationship between division and fractions. We can see this relationship in diagrams, situations that were given, and equations. This diagram here represents two sandwiches being shared equally by five people. So as you can see here, two whole sandwiches being shared by five people. One, two, three, four, five. They just get each sandwich into five equal pieces. Each person is gonna get two fifths of a sandwich total. So if that's confusing to you, think about when we poured the water the, the other day. The equation two divided by five equals two fifths, which also represents this, this situation. So two divided by five equals two fifths. So fractions and division, they mean the same thing. I know that might sound strange, but they do mean the same thing. Okay, now that you are all done with this, you are going to ask your teacher for your cool down. So what the cool down is, and I don't have it a piece of paper of it with me, so I'm just going to verbally explain it to you. When you get your cool down, you're literally explaining why 8 divided by 5 equals 8 fifths. You can use pictures, you can use words, but you need to explain to me why eight divided by five equals eight fifths. Turn that into the math drawer when you're done and you have done an excellent job. I'm really proud of you for taking this on, you and your partner to do this more independently.